Hi, pastors. <laughs> I have a friend who's married, right? And um, I believe he's having communication troubles with his, with his spouse. And, um, <clears throat> you know, I believe um, instead of maybe he feels like, again, he, he can't convey his message to his spouse adequately. So what, what, what happened was um, he, excuse me, he would, um, he would like, you know, call, call me and, you know, ask me about this X, Y, and Z. Um, and complain about, you know, what was going on in the situation, you know, expressing himself. But then it was like, but his spouse was like sitting right with him, next to him, right? Mm -hmm. And um, the kids were in earshot too. Mm -hmm. And so uh, I said, hey, I, I understand what you're feeling, how you feel, what you're saying. But you, you, you can't be so honest in front of everybody like this. Right, right. So can you talk about how that might be damaging to um, relationships you know, with, with, with your spouse, and, and also, like, um, the kids even seeing stuff like that, how that can be problematic for them yeah. to see maybe, you know, you being overly honest about sure. your spouse in front of the kids yeah. or whatever like that. So if you don't mind. Well, well, first thing, let me answer that last part. Children should never be a part never. of dispute between the mother and father. No, right. Never. Pastor Laura and I, and especially in the early days, we had some disagreements because we were young and immature, a lot of things, but our kids were never part of it. You don't ever, never, 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 never have your children a part of, di of disagreements and all of that with spouses. If they, are, if they are around, if you can't go and wait till some, somewhere else, wait till they go to sleep or wait somewhere else, go somewhere else, you don't do that. Yeah, on we, no level. We have Never. always when we when the kids were small, we wait till everybody go to sleep, and then we have our fight. Yeah. Verbal, not with, it is no this wasn't no Annie Mae and Ike. This wasn't that. <laughs> but we just wait till everybody go to sleep, and you know we said we said we had yeah. to say to each other. We made sure we was clear on each yeah. what we had to say. And then in the morning, we did we had do we do. Yeah. And the kids didn't even know what we yeah. was going through. You know, I, I don't even know how far did they know we was getting a divorce. Yeah. I yeah. don't even know how far it was, but, I, but we made sure yeah. that everybody went to school and came back home. And we, we, you know, we dealt with our issues at night. At night, we dealt with our issues. And if it was not good in the morning, we'll wait till again that night and we'll deal with that issue because... We did not want to make our kids go against each other. See, that's, that is so unfair to put your kids in a position like that to do that because they, right, because then they don't know what to take sides. They don't know what's going on. Then I know some kids who could blame themselves. So that, that, that's, that's a, that's a no-no, a capital N. You yeah. never, ever do that on no level. Yeah. Never. You know, uh, we, we've also told sometimes when you, when you have uh, uh, parents, if they're not together, especially if you got the woman, do not talk about that father, the, talk, talk ab about that child's father to that child. I don't care if they are no good. You don't ever say that because you are seeding bad in that child. You know, your daddy ain't, ain't no good. You see it in me, my daddy ain't no good, I came from him. Now you see it in me, I ain't gonna be no good. So on the no level, no do level. you ever, ever discuss anything in front of your children? If you do, yeah. shame on you, repent, and never ever do it again. Yeah. No level. You don't do that, you don't do that. You don't, you don't, you don't do that because a kid remember that. Every mistake, every issue, that's going on with that child, all he's doing is re rehearsing everything you have just said. I'll give you some real personal. I remember, and I remember it one time, I won't say what was said. And this is with my parents, and they didn't, they didn't mean any, they, they didn't know I was listening. I was probably about mm, 
about seven years old. And I, and I won't dare say what they said, but it was not good when they were going through. Now, if I'm seven, that was about fi almost 53 years ago, and I still remember it. And that kid be devastated. Devastated. And they keep on walking around. Then after a while, if they don't clear their mind up, they become what you just said. Yep. They become what you said. In other words, I have nothing to fight against because you already said I am this. And if you, not, if you, don't, if you don't rise above that, then you're gonna, then the thing about this, what you hate the most, you got to live with the most. Yeah. You know, in other words, you, if you say Yo, you just as crazy as your daddy, then you, you, you live with a crazy person too. Oh. That, that kid is your, that crazy person. You might not have the man, but you have the crazy child. So in other words, don't speak, you know, with, no. um, with my kids, I, I, hate, I hate saying get on my nerve because they, you know, I didn't want them to get <laughs> on my nerve. So what I did was I made up a word that everybody understood the word. And I said, don't make me get bazooka. Bazooka is gone. <laughs> and so I, in other words, I, I rather said that than say y'all getting on my nerve that ain't really got on my nerve. But I said, bazooka, and everybody understood bazooka. And then I all and then you know when a kid when a kid rise up and every child try to rise up and um, and I and I and I would and I would sit there and think about this and I say you know what you got to pass what do that mean do you and I would not look back let me see how bad you can do you because everybody rise up and think they can do you I can I I can I can do me better than you. And you came from me, you ain't going nowhere. <laughs> so in other words, you don't let nothing, you don't let nothing take away your peace, but you don't also, you also protect that child yeah. while they're in their yeah. house. Yeah. Yeah. You protect them as much as possible because the world is not, the world is not nice out here. Yeah. And if you don't train them to deal with confliction or train them or whatever and stuff, that world gonna eat them up. Yeah. Yeah. So definitely, you never do that. I don't know if that, that was part of the last uh, uh, question, part of the, the last part of that question, uh, but whatever. Oh, let me say, you know what, when, when he said that about, you know, when, when people, now one thing me and the pastor never did, and I know some families do this, talk about each other mama. Some couples talk about each other parents. Like it's a joke? Like it's a yeah. joke. And you should never talk about each other's parents. That, how you going how you gonna still be with me and talk about my mama? I don't know how you put that in a sentence. Yeah. Or talk about my daddy. See, because the danger to that, and people be like, oh, that's just how we do. Uh -uh. Now, you, now, with that, what's usually the funniest thing? Some level of truth. You know your fat mama, and my mama was fat. After why I don't become funny. <laughs> they got real serious. Huh? <laughs> no, you, you don't do that because the, the funniest thing is there's some level of truth. And then you start crossing that line. And now, uh, and then we start, really, I knew you didn't like my mama no way. You don't do all of that. Okay, well, look, we don't want to give you side answers. I hope we answered uh, part, parts of that, that, that question. Come, come on. Because y'all got so sad. <laughs> <laughs>